Making It in Botswana, a TV show that takes you on a behind the scenes look at how everyday items are manufactured right here in Botswana. Making It in Botswana, brought to you by Botswana Investment and Trade Center. Go Botswana! Today on Making It in Botswana, we look at the manufacturing process of a hardcover lined school book. We then head over to Solar Power to learn how to convert sunlight to warm water. This is Making It in Botswana. The first known forms of written documentation were the clay tablet of the Mesopotamians and the papyrus roll of the Egyptians. Examples of both date back as early as 3000 BC. Independent of these developments were Chinese books made of wood or bamboo strips bound together with cords. These books dated back to 1300 BC. Because the printing press mechanized the book production process, books became available in greater numbers. By the 19th century, however, the demand for books could not be met quickly enough by the process of hand printing. Printers developed larger presses to accommodate larger sheets of paper and or the newly invented continuous rolls of paper. These improvements allowed printers to produce books at a much faster rate until what is known as the bookmaking machine. That is what we are talking about in today's episode of Making It in Botswana. This hardcover book is made here in a factory in Dlokwen called Babic Holdings. Thousands of books are made here every day. Several other products are made here. Folders, invoicing booklets, petty cash forms, quotation books, folders and notebooks. This is Making It in Botswana. Babic Holding is a company that was registered in the year 2000 to manufacture scholastic notebooks. We were based in Khabaroni West and then we moved to Tlokweng. Uh, we acquired a brand called Sadia. In 1982, Sadia was commissioned by some South Africans. And in 2008, we acquired the brand and we are trading under Sadia brand on all the notebooks and global envelopes on all the envelopes. Um, we have over 150 clients. Uh, most of them are local based and a few are internationally based. Uh, we work with channel partners in Namibia, Zimbabwe, Malawi and South Africa. Our exports are the majority of scholastic notebooks and we are now planning to export envelopes and other allied products. We started with a humble number of 15 employees. We have grown to 135 and the numbers during peak period goes to 200. And there is uh, an opportunity to increase these numbers as time goes on and the market chain increases. Um, we manufacture over 180 products, out of which 25 products are co-products, and the rest of them are seasonal products. We are able to do anything with the paper conversion uh, based on the customer needs. In terms of opportunity by Botswana, first of all, I urge all the youth and the women to start a supply chain and we can support them. And we also engage them in transportation and other allied industries worth 30% of our manufacturing process. In terms of where we are going in the next few years, we should be doubling the capacity and reaching certain heights. We are presently converting 200 world tons and we will be touching about 400 to 500 tons in the, in the coming years. Um, our last few words, thank you for all the support, all the entities that have been supporting tirelessly and we wish that continues and by Botswana and be Botswana. This is Making It in Botswana. Let's take a look at how they make the hardcover book. The paper used for the books is received from many different countries around the world, from as near as South Africa to as far as France, dependent on availability and quantity. It is received as a plain reel. This is a paper reel.
This is what is called an automatic bookmaking machine. This is where the lines in the book are printed. The ink used here is a water-based ink. Lines are put onto the book according to specification of the client. This particular machine is making square blocks, typically used in mathematics and accounting books. The line printed sheets are loaded onto a folding machine and the machine then folds the line paper. Different sizes of books are made, A4 or A5. The folded papers are bundled into sheets ready for cutting. After folding, the paper then comes into this section, which is guillotines. These are the guillotines, which cut the paper to size. The word guillotine may sound scary to one, but not to worry. Here at Babic Holdings, safety is our number one concern. For the guillotine to work, the operator needs to place both hands on this section here for the machine to operate. Without the placement of both hands, the machine won't work. This is a running blade. As you can see, there is a gap in between the books as they are laid out, which marks where the running blade will cut. This machine is currently cutting two books per sheet. Quality control is conducted throughout the process. After cutting, the pages are added to this sewing machine to bind the spine together thread by thread. The folded paper then comes here, where glue is added on the spine to reinforce the pages. The glued and bound sheets are then cut to the desired number of pages per book. This is a very manual process that needs dexterity of hands to ensure the utmost of quality control. Once dry, the pages then come here where the hard cover is glued and attached. The glue used here is made from animal fat and as such does not emit toxic fumes.
The book then goes into binding, where red binding tape is attached to completely seal the book. The books then get placed into this machine, which trims it off to size. After final quality control, the book is then packaged and sent to dispatch ready for the ink of our pens. In today's times, we have Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube and so much more. We do have to move with the times, but at the end of the day, we rely on this, the good old fashioned line book. This is Making It in Botswana. Let's head over to Broad Earth Industrial, where we take a look at how the correct use of sunlight contributes to our lovely warm showers with solar power. The average temperature in Botswana ranges from approximately 25 degrees Celsius minimum to 36 degrees Celsius maximum in the summer. With mostly sunny days throughout the year, harvesting solar energy is the most economical, sustainable and logical way to produce our own energy needs in Botswana. Solar Power, located in Broaders Industrial, is the first and oldest private company dedicated to natural resource development in Botswana. In particular, in tapping into the nation's abundant and inexhaustible solar energy source. This is Making It in Botswana. Solar Power is the Kalahari Resources Development Company that is uh, that has been established since 1975 and that we are dealing with the resources development of the country and we think and we thought that solar power is the greatest resources of this nation and we call that one the diamond of Botswana the real diamond that is forever with that, we will go on with the uh, development of the country. Our clients ranges from the government to the councils, to the private sectors, to the contractor. Our product range is our solar collector panel, our solar electric geysers, all the ancillary that goes with that. We also convert the people's electric geysers into solar power and a borehole pumping and variety of the things. We have at this time 36 uh, staff here and we do also engage subcontractor as and when we are requiring that. Our vision is to expand the solar power implementation in Botswana. The opportunity is a lot here in Botswana that we will be able to manufacture here for, for full requirement of this nation as well as exporting out of the country. This is Making It in Botswana. The water heaters in our homes traditionally run on electricity. Most of us have faced those high electricity bills when our geysers were left on for too long. With a solar system, the abundant and free heat of the sun is used to warm our water. Today in Making It in Botswana, we will be looking at the process of making a solar power water heating system. This is where it all begins. The anodized stuka aluminium is rolled out into a cutter and cut according to specification. The sheets then go into this pressing machine to press and cut to shape the corners and the four inlet outlet holes for construction of solar collector housing and solar absorber tray.
corners of the metal sheet are punched, ready for bending. These preformed sheets then go for bending, where the sheets are formed into collector tray. Rubber washers are placed inside the preformed holes, which goes into this assembly table where a layer of glass fiber blanket insulation covered with a reflecting aluminium sheet is added. The layer of foil is added to reflect any heat back to the absorber. The raw material is received in these single fin absorbers. Eight of these fins are laid on this structure that holds the absorbers together within these pre-drilled headers. They are brazed with silver copper alloy rods which are welded into these headers which form the inner pressure absorber panel. The absorber goes through a 12 bar pressure tester to test for any leak or defect before being transferred to stacking bay, ready for final assembly into finished solar collector panels, which then comes out by natural thermo siphoning. It rises on the manifold and then into the hot storage tank or geyser via heat exchange fluid.
The absorber is then received into the assembly area and placed onto the layer of foil. Low iron heat tempered solar glazing is then put on and sealed. It is secured in place with ionized aluminium angles. The finished solar collector panels are given final quality check and then ready for dispatch. If you are interested in making the switch to renewable energy, give Solar Power a call. Not only can they supply you with an energy efficient system, they can also convert your existing geyser to solar powered without disturbing your existing geyser setup. The future seems just a bit sunnier. Next time on Making It in Botswana, Ebony Botswana will take us through the process behind synthetic hair manufacturing, then it's all about the diamonds with KGK Diamonds. This is Making It in Botswana.